So Steve, very serious question for us. Oh, man, I just started hosting. You already hit me with the serious questions? Okay, 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 hit me with it. <laughs> Are you a music fan? Oh, wow, that is a serious question. <laughs> uh, I think I can probably best summarize my musical tastes in my top five bands. Led Zeppelin, Bare Naked Ladies, Walk Off the Earth, Michael Jackson, and Prince. But actually, you know what I like about music more in general? What's that? Is that it actually brings people together and transcends barriers, much like this next story about a new choir called Feel the Music. Our Ottawa team traveled to Kingston, Ontario to sit in on one of their practice sessions. Welcome, everybody. We're just going to try to warm up our voices again. Every Monday on morning, a, a... choir director Eric Voice leads members of the Feel the Music Choir to rehearsal at the Heart Centre in Kingston. The greatest thing of it is, is that when people come out to hear and people have heard us in the hallway and stuff, they have said to me, it sounds beautiful. And, and you know, they, when they come in and I say, you know, this choir is, is made up of blind people, some people just go, oh my God, I didn't know. And I said, it doesn't matter because it's all about being the same. And, and when they're here, that isolation goes away and everybody's the same and, and everybody's equal. Hey, uh, hey, uh. They have a unique set of talents. They don't have to know how to sing. Uh, I can show them and teach them and make them aware that uh, singing comes naturally on everybody. I believe everybody can sing. I believe that's what makes it fun. And uh, I believe everybody has a skilled voice. Is just finding that range that makes it so it's enjoyable for everyone. The choir is a brainchild of Eric and Catherine Porter the founder of the Heart Center, which is a play on words spelled H apostrophe A-R-T. The Heart Center was created because there was a need for people who have disabilities to shine. The center loves to bring in professionals who have some skill or expertise in the area of their arts and certainly working with people with disabilities. And Eric Voice is exceptional. He's kind, he's gentle, but he's also trained and qualified. I've been singing uh, and performing for quite a while and, uh, and I've been fortunate enough to have been nominated for uh, Canadian Aboriginal Music Awards and American Aboriginal Music Awards. As a Native person, we always believe that singing comes from our heart and uh, when we can really put all of our feeling and emotion into it, uh, it, it the, the audience absorbs it and the people who hear it absorb it. And, it's all about feeling, it's all about giving and sharing and, and, and then now that I hear the participants getting to that level of, they're starting to feel it in their hearts and I can hear it in their voices and I can hear it by the way they're, they're comfortable and, and they sing with their hearts and they sing with their ability and it's just getting better and better and better. Vicki Stacknick is a dedicated member of the choir. The fairy dreams on which my people stand. It's good because we're all equal, even if they have some vision and I have no vision. It doesn't matter when we're together singing. You can't tell when a person's voice, like whether they have vision or no vision, so it's magical. The music and singing has always made me feel good, like happy, and, and even if it's a sad song, it doesn't make sense, but it still can make you happy because it helps you get all your feelings out. To make the choir inclusive, Eric has a few adaptive techniques. For the low vision participants, he makes exaggerated arm gestures so that they can see. He makes lyrics available in large print and has his own special system with Vicky. Eric would mail, email me the lyrics and I would braille them out. And I'd be prepared before, the, before we started practicing the songs. Vicky also appreciates the social aspect. Music always makes me feel good and then plus the fact that you're I'm, I only knew one of the girls that, would, that joined the choir, so it was all new people. So that was nice too. Feel the Music is planning their first performance for the summer. Eric and Vicky hope the concert will encourage new members. The people who are a little reluctant at coming to the choir and saying, should I, should I go out there? Should I, should I put myself out there? It'll inspire them to really take part in the choir as well. I've tried to tell as many people as I know that come on and join, and they say, oh, we can't sing, and I say, well, you learn as you go. And only one chance to hold hands. 
And we actually have an update on the story. Feel the Music Choir is actually performing for the very first time this week on Aboriginal Day. That's this Wednesday, June 21st, and the concert will take place at City Hall in Kingston. We wish them the best of luck for their inaugural performance as a group. And if you want to be able to check out more about the choir, you can check out the Heart Center on their website at heartschool.ca. That's heart spelled H-A-R-T school.ca.